An Indianapolis man is charged with dealing drugs resulting in death after a deadly overdose on Indy's northeast side. Tonight, Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains what led to criminal charges being filed more than six months later. The victim died from a drug overdose inside this apartment building behind me in July. Federal investigators say the criminal charges in this case once again serve an important message to both drug dealers and drug users everywhere. Here at the Chateau in the Woods Apartments, a family was torn apart by tragedy last year when this 22-year-old young mother, Shyless Garrett, was found dead on the floor by her boyfriend. Police claim text messages show the victim requested bars and Addy before her death. That's slang for Xanax and Adderall. In this instance, they clearly thought they were getting a Xanax or an Adderall, and that's not what the toxicology report revealed. It was a, a fentanyl poisoning. 46-year-old Rashawn Williams is now accused of supplying the fatal dose of fentanyl-laced pills. According to this affidavit, calls and text messages show the victim and suspect arranged to meet the night before the death. That was followed by a cash app transaction between the pair for just $35, a small amount of money that proved deadly. It's disgraceful and they do need to be held accountable, especially when someone has lost their life. So it's very important for us to charge drug dealers who are peddling poison. Since the law allowing drug dealers to be prosecuted for deaths went into effect in 2018, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office has filed 13 cases resulting in two convictions so far. The 2023 overdose numbers are still being compiled, but in 2022, more than 850 people died from drug overdoses in Indianapolis, with thousands more statewide. That's why the DEA reminds everyone that one pill can kill. Never has there been a worse time in our country to use drugs than, than there is right now. You have to assume they're, they're being laced with lethal drugs such as fentanyl and other synthetic opioids. Finally, the suspect has made an initial court hearing and is being held on a $200,000 bond pending trial. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Taking a live